Hey, hi everyone. In this particular video, we are going to learn about the complete CRUD operation in MongoDB with the help of a very important example. Now, what is CRUD? Well, CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. Right? These are all operations that we do with a document that we store in MongoDB. Right? So, first of all, we will start with the Create, then we will move to the Read and then to the Update and then to the Delete. So, let's start creating or inserting a document so for that let's go to the mongodb shell so we are inside our office database but before that let's see that how many databases i have so show dbs you can check i'm having the database office here and on which i'm going to work now let's check for the collection inside this office show collections and here the collection name is user only right users so this is what we are going to use. So inserting any data inside the database collection, what we need to do, we need to write DB. Well, DB stands for the name, the current database that you are using, right? So this is office. So DB dot the collection name that is users dot insert many. If you want to insert only one data, you can use insert one instead of insert many but if you want to insert lots of data at a time you can use insert many right so where the m should be kept so m a n y put a bracket after putting the bracket when you are inserting lots of data so you need to put it in the form of array so put a open bracket like this right let's go to the next line and here i'm going to put all these different data so let's take these from the notes yeah i'm having these three different data document you can check this is in the form of curly bracket inside of which I'm having the key colon value. The value is in inside this apostrophe. Why? Because this is a string. In the case of integer, we need not to put any quotations there, right? Similarly, in the, uh, there's a city. So let's just copy it or let's copy all three. So this all three is copied. Let's paste it here. You can check, right? So this is how it looks when it get placed inside this insert menu. Now let's close this square bracket and then this parenthesis and press enter. And you can check. The acknowledge is true. That means my data is successfully inserted. Now insert ID is your index, right? And this object ID is created by the MongoDB by itself, right? Now let's go to the MongoDB compass and check. So this is my MongoDB compass. And if I just refresh it, so you can check. This office is having a collection users and when I go to the user and refresh it, these all three data which I inserted just now is now here. So these are the documents, right? The name, age, city of this first one, second one, third one. This is how it works, right? Now let's move forward, forward towards the nodes. Now, after this creation, right, this create part, let's go to this R which is read, right? So this is the read where we view the data, how we see the data which is already inserted, right? So for that purpose, we use this find method, right? Or to check any specific, we use this find one or this find. But the thing is, the thing important is that we need to put a filter inside of it, right? This filter does what? That it takes out the first document which matches the particular condition which is given in this filter, right? Let's say here the name is Aman. In that particular case, it checks all the document and in the first document which it finds where the name is Aman, it will give it as a result, right? So let's let's start working with it, right? So uh, I go here, let's do CLS, everything is clear now. Now, db.users.find. If you put just find and put a bracket in the next, right? Here you are not giving any condition. That means you want all the data set. So if I press enter, you can check. I got all the data set here, right? Now let's see LS. After that, let's let's check for any one particular uh, document. So I want this one, right? I want this one. So here, let's take this filter where the name is Aman, right? I want a document where the name is Aman. So for that particular purpose, I will do what? db.users. Dot db dot users dot then find or find many when you put find one in that particular case it will give you only one data set right one particular document which first matches with your condition and in case of find it will give all the data for the document that matches your condition that's the case so i'm going with the find one here find one put a bracket 
for giving the condition we need to put the curly bracket like this and here write name which is your key and the value is what aman aman like this let's close it like this and press enter and you can check i got this particular document here right so this is how we use it now moving forward towards the next part which is for u and u stands for update right so let's check for this update which is modified data how we use it well simply there's a very simple syntax of it that is first db.user which is your database and the collection and then we use this update one and there's another thing which is update many now after putting this we need first this one this is what this is your filter right in the find one what we are doing we were putting a filter that filter was helping us to take out the data right that particular specific data the same thing happens here this particular filter help us to take out that particular document and on that we use this this is used to update the data right got it now let me just show you that how it works similar thing happens here also that this update one updates only the first data which matches with this particular uh, condition and updates many edits or updates every data set that matches this particular condition right now let's move forward towards working with it in the real so what i'm going to do i'm going to write db dot users dot update update okay update one like this put a bracket here after putting the bracket what we need to do we first need to give a filter right so uh, let's take uh, the data from here okay the name piyush is present here so i'm going to use the same right so let's press enter and put a curly bracket like this the name is your key the value is your piyush right like this after that uh, let's put a comma here and press enter you come to the next line right after that you need to write the query for updating right so for that put a curly bracket like this and put a dollar sign then dollar sign and then set look like here dollar sign set and then put a colon why this dollar sign because you are setting you are updating right that's why so put a colon here after that curly bracket and put let's say i want to change the age from 22 to 25 so make it 25 like this right close the last bracket and put a comma uh, there's no need of comma now and after this you just simply just close this particular bracket right so let's press enter and just close this parenthesis and press enter and you can check the acknowledge is true means it is successfully done now matched count match count means this filter this filter that is showing your matched count then modified count is what that this particular age is now modified right so if you go and check in your compass refresh it and you can check that age is now 25 right so this is how it works this is how your update works okay fine now coming up to the last which is how we remove our data well for removing any single user the same thing which you used to do in the find part right where we were putting a filter same thing happens here also just put delete one instead of find one you put delete one and then like this the name has whatever the name present here right and then delete multiple users for that just write delete many and uh, the all the name all the filter all the document that is containing this particular filter will get delete all the data right so let's uh, learn with the help of this particular example so what i'm going to do is just db dot users dot delete one put a bracket after putting the bracket you need to put this fill for the filter right and i want the filter where the name is piyush right so i want to delete this just simply close the bracket and after that when you press enter you can check the acknowledge is true delete count is one and now if you go to your compass and check for the data or the documents present here just refresh it and you can check the piyush one is now deleted there are only two left right so this is how we perform our delete operations right and now if you want to check that db.users.find so it will give you that only two are present right you can again uh, run the query for the read operation that is db.users 
dot find and you can check only two data set are here right this is what i was telling so this is all about today's video i hope you understood the concept that how we perform the create read update and the delete operation in the mongodb and this is a very simple example but very effective and very important to understand so thank you so much for watching goodbye